Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to talk about a topic that has been debated for years. Which is more effective, taking a bath in a bathtub or taking a standing shower? So, let's dive into it. First, let's talk about the benefits of taking a bath. A warm bath is a great way to relax and unwind after a long day. It can help reduce stress and anxiety, and even improve your mood. Additionally, soaking in a bath can help soothe sore muscles and joints, making it a popular choice for athletes and those with chronic pain. On the other hand, a standing shower has its own benefits. A quick shower can help wake you up in the morning and leave you feeling refreshed and energized. It's also a more efficient way to clean your body since the water is constantly running, washing away dirt and dead skin cells. But which one is more effective in terms of hygiene? Research has shown that taking a shower may actually be more hygienic than taking a bath. When you sit in a bath, you are essentially sitting in your own dirty water which can contain bacteria and other harmful substances. In contrast, a shower constantly washes away dirt and bacteria, preventing them from accumulating on your skin. However, this doesn't mean that baths are inherently unhygienic. If you clean your bathtub regularly and use clean water, taking a bath can still be a safe and enjoyable experience. Another factor to consider is water usage. Showers typically use less water than baths, making them a more environmentally friendly option. However, if you enjoy taking long, luxurious baths, you may end up using more water than you would during a quick shower. Now let's talk about the accessibility and safety of each option. For individuals with mobility issues or disabilities, a bathtub can be difficult or even dangerous to use. Getting in and out of the tub can be challenging, and the risk of slips and falls is higher. In contrast, a standing shower can be equipped with grab bars and non-slip flooring, making it a safer option for those with limited mobility. Additionally, the type of bath or shower product you use can also impact your skin health. Some bubble baths and bath bombs may contain ingredients that can irritate or dry out your skin. Similarly, some shower gels and body washes may also contain harsh chemicals that strip your skin of its natural oils. It's important to choose products that are gentle and moisturizing and to avoid using products that don't agree with your skin. Lastly, the temperature of the water you use can also affect the benefits of your bath or shower. Extremely hot water can dry out your skin and cause irritation, while water that's too cold may not effectively remove dirt and bacteria. It's generally recommended to use lukewarm water which can help keep your skin clean and healthy without causing irritation. One aspect to consider when comparing baths and showers is the effect they have on your skin. While both options can effectively clean your skin, they can also have different effects on your skin's health. Taking a bath can be a relaxing and soothing experience, but soaking in hot water for too long can actually be detrimental to your skin. Hot water can strip your skin of its natural oils, leaving it dry and irritated. Additionally, if you add bubble baths or bath salts to your bath water, they may contain fragrances and other ingredients that can cause irritation or allergic reactions. In contrast, taking a shower can be a refreshing and invigorating experience, but it can also be harsh on your skin if you're not careful. Hot water, harsh soaps, and long showers can all contribute to dry and irritated skin. To avoid these issues, it's important to use lukewarm water, avoid harsh soaps and body washes, 
and keep your showers short and sweet. Another aspect to consider is the psychological effects of bathing versus showering. Some people find that taking a bath is a great way to unwind and relax after a stressful day, while others prefer the invigorating feeling of a quick shower. The choice ultimately depends on your personal preferences and what helps you feel most relaxed and refreshed. Also, it's important to consider the maintenance required for both options. Bathtubs require a regular cleaning and maintenance to prevent the buildup of dirt, grime, and bacteria. Showers also require a regular cleaning, but they may be easier to maintain since the water is constantly running and washing away dirt and bacteria. One aspect to consider when comparing baths and showers is the water pressure. Showers typically have higher water pressure than baths, which can make them more effective at removing dirt and grime from your skin. However, some people may find high water pressure to be uncomfortable or even painful, especially if they have sensitive skin. Another factor to consider is the time and energy required for each option. Showers are generally quicker and more efficient than baths, making them a good choice if you're short on time. However, if you're looking for a relaxing and luxurious experience, a bath may be a better option. Keep in mind that taking a bath requires more water and energy than taking a shower. So if you're concerned about your environmental impact, it's important to consider your water usage. In addition, the type of bath or shower product you use can also impact your skin health. Some products, such as harsh soaps or body washes, can strip your skin of its natural oils and leave it dry and irritated. It's important to choose products that are gentle and moisturizing, and to avoid using products that contain harsh chemicals or fragrances. Another factor to consider is the effect on your hair. If you have long hair, a shower may be more convenient since you can easily rinse out shampoo and conditioner. However, if you have dry or damaged hair, a bath may be a better option since the water won't be as harsh on your hair. In addition, the type of bath or shower product you use can also impact your hair health. Some shampoos and conditioners may contain harsh chemicals that can strip your hair of its natural oils, leaving it dry and brittle. It's important to choose products that are gentle and moisturizing, and to avoid using products that contain sulfates or other harsh ingredients. Another aspect to consider is the impact on your mental health. For some people, taking a bath can be a form of self-care and a way to practice mindfulness. The warm water and quiet solitude can provide a much-needed break from the stresses of daily life. In contrast, a shower may be a more practical option if you're in a rush or need to wake up quickly. Lastly, it's important to consider the environmental impact of your choice. Showers generally use less water than baths, making them a more eco-friendly option. However, if you enjoy taking long, luxurious baths, you may end up using more water than you would during a quick shower. It's important to be mindful of your water usage and try to conserve water whenever possible. In conclusion, both baths and showers have their own unique benefits and drawbacks. So, the choice is yours. Consider your personal preferences, hygiene habits, accessibility needs, and the products and water temperature you use. Both options can be effective and enjoyable, so choose the one that works best for you and your lifestyle. There are many factors to consider when deciding between a bath and a shower. Ultimately, the choice depends on your personal preferences. Whether you choose to take a relaxing bath or an invigorating shower, 
The most important thing is to practice good hygiene habits and take care of your body. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this information helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.